Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, sorry for today's video being a little bit late, but there is a very, very good reason for that. I've actually been waiting for clan battles to start, and I've actually wait waited to actually get my turn to fight this titan. Um, today, I'm going to be doing a Dark Indra Spotlight. Um, this is actually something that I've wanted to do for a very, very long time. And this is a monster that that's, you know, my own. I'm not spotlighting anybody else's monster. Now, this is a monster that I've actually, um, I've actually had for a long time. There's three people trying to do this this Light Titan, but I'm I don't give a shit. I, I'm just I'm just gonna be here and I'm going to um, try this Titan battle, and I'm gonna just uh, I'm just gonna go in and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him as hard as I can, and I really just want to see how much damage my um, Dark Indra can do. We can actually go later into like Golden Speed Titan as well to actually um, take a look look at his damage. Currently, I do have him with um, a leech set. However, wait, I can't even show it. Um, however, the HP gem isn't maxed out, but the attack and crit rate gem are. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. Um, this one has 6% crit, this one has 13% crit, and this one's a crit rate gem. So he has about like 80 something percent crit. Um, the HP gem's not maxed out, but I don't think it matters because I'm actually using him with a lot of um, level 50 monsters to to support him. So this, this is kind of the team I went with. These on the first team are just kind of filler monsters. I went with triple creator strike and a, a healer. Um, I went with one healer here with an attack down, plus um, you know two armor breakers. This team is basically just going to nuke him as hard as possible, and, and they're just going to die really fast because they're only like level 50. Um, but these guys actually gemmed them all, all of them up with um, you know six star gems at plus 12 at the very very least. Some of them have like plus 15 gems, so um, they're they're kind of decent. These level 50 filler monsters actually gem with um, plus 15 gems. You'll see my resources are actually very very low because I I actually invested quite a lot into um, doing clan battles. So I, I went with a a uh, double armor break plus a blind here. And then um, these three provide a, these two provide attack down, um, and you know this he has shield for them. I was actually thinking of doing something a little bit different as well. I was, I was thinking of putting the Hana over here, um, and then just kind of going with like going Verde for the attack lead, and it actually could be better. I'm not too sure. Actually, no. I think this team might be the best. I have two attack downs here. It should be I should be fine. Um, I think blind is a little bit more important. So I went with two Fire Verdes, and they also have Creator Strike. So this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, um, 7. This is a 7 Creator Strike team. And we're going to see how how well this actually does. So I'm just going to go in, and hopefully um, I can do a lot of damage. I, I don't really know how to do clan battles properly. This is like the, the first video ever um, that you, you guys see me doing clan battles. But... Um, I just kind of wanted to show this one team to kind of combine like you know all my all my best monsters that I can use, um, you know, for this Titan. So we're gonna go in, nice attack down and um, defense down, and then my Indra did put a three turn attack down as well. I don't actually think I think Hana might have been better on the second team because I have a lot of uh, attack downs on my first team. I really don't need that many, um, but this at least will make sure that. Um, It's kept on him, and we're we're gonna be uh, courageous striking them hard. All right, I think my siren should be able to put up a shield next turn. Oh yes, my Thor did his uh, did his courageous strike as well, and my siren did put up a shield, so that's very very good. All right, Loki's gonna do his armor break, and we're gonna see if uh, Thor can land one as well. Um, I think my right team might be dead because the healers didn't get their blue souls. I think that's why a lot of people really like to use like a double healer team so they can survive longer. But I think against the light titan, um, you you die really fast anyways. So I think I don't think the double healer team is going to uh, going to help too much. And I'm pretty sure these 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 guys are dead. I think the pinos and the the indros are definitely dead um, this turn. The Pinot's, the Pino wasn't max level, but or he, he didn't have like really good stats, but the Indras did, so they will get to live one more turn. However, um, the Indra with the full bar did get sealed, and I think this should end me over here on the first turn. Yep, definitely dead. 
Yeah, these guys are only level 50, but they are creative strike monsters, so I, I decided to use them. Um, also, the Siren's doing a pretty good job as well. I think I might actually try to put the Siren on a recovery gem. This way she can always max heal. But I think um, with a lot of the, these attacker monsters, or the, the balance type Courage Strike monsters, um, she already almost pretty much max heals them every turn as well. But maybe at level 60, um, it might be worth putting a recovery gem. Like once I get my other units to level 60, it might be worth putting one recovery gem on her. Alright, moment of truth. We're going to see if I can uh, land an armor break. The blind did not land. Maybe the attack down. Alright, nice. I got the attack down and blind to land. It's definitely pretty good. You know, maybe I should have put one of my water Indras on this team so we can try to try to make sure he's always... Uh, he always has an attack down or blind on him. Alright, that, that, that was definitely a lot of damage. Oh no, he put a put a tack down on me. Yeah, that 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 wood woo cone is definitely doing work. All right, I just need Indra to survive this turn. I need him to not die, and then uh, I'll get the defense buff up. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. He just leached all that back. Uh, the unfortunate thing is, um, fortunate thing is, I don't have the armor break anymore, and he is, uh, he is also dead. So that's that's a little bit unfortunate. All right, rip, cruel, cruel world, and he did uh, two million and six. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, he did 2.6 million damage um, on the Titan just by himself. I think he pretty much carried me for the whole entire fight. He did over half of the total damage of all the units on this team, basically, just by himself. Oh man, he is a he is definitely a really really sick monster. Um, but yeah, that was that was actually pretty nice. Um, I think it definitely if I plus 15 a lot of their gems and also. Um, six star some of these monsters i think i'll definitely get a much much better um titans comp than i have right now but yeah i think that was that was actually not bad and this is this is some nice damage this is um some pretty good damage um Alright, so uh, the other members have managed to, to kill that boss. Um, the other thing I wanted to kind of show you guys is like a damage test on him with Golem Speed 10. Now, the, the reason why um, Courageous Strikers are, are decent for Golem Speed 10 is because he, Courageous Strike actually has a very, very high damage multiplier um, on the on the B10 Golem because because of how much HP the B10 Golem has. He is a tank type monster, so he has a very very high base HP, um, and meaning that Courageous Strike monsters will actually hit him for quite hard. There was a post on Reddit of someone doing some damage calculations, basically um, calculating that Courageous Strike actually has a a 67% damage multiplier, so it's actually even higher than Hunter. Um, if you use it on Golem's B10, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do some tests. We're gonna try this out. Um, I'm gonna bring some I'm gonna bring some armor break, you know, monster monster spotlight style. I'm gonna bring a I'll bring a I'll bring an HP lead plus a, uh, a shield with my dark cupid to make sure everyone stays safe and nobody dies during this run. Um, I'll go with a high passive healer because you know Dark Yasha actually heals for quite a lot. I'll go with Thor for the armor break, and I'll go with Indra. Actually, I was thinking I should use Light Siren to solo tank, just to make things safe. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll use Light Siren to solo tank. That should be good. 
Alright, I'll, I'll put in light suck, so this way it's safe. This way nobody can die. Actually, wait, I can just use, uh... I can just Yaksha to passive heal her. Actually, no, I think July actually might passive heal more. Because she is she has more defense than HP. I think. Okay, this this is good enough. I don't. I, I'm worrying too much. I'm worrying too much. Nobody's gonna die. This is just call on speed ten. And plus, I'm I'm spotlighting my own monster. So if someone dies, I can just exit. Like, it, I uh, I worry too much. Oh wait, I wasn't supposed to armor break him, but I want to I wanted to test his damage out um on on just the moonflower and then compare it with the without the uh, with the armor break and without the armor break. Alright, I think that was like 6 hits of 5,000, which is, um, which is definitely quite a lot, if you think about it. Alright, we're just gonna end that, end that Moonflower. That's like, that's like 30k, right? Yeah, that's definitely 30k. Now, I think this should definitely do double with the armor break. Yeah, that's like, that was double, that was like 60k. He hits really hard because he has a. Even if he has one HP gem on him, um, he has a base. He ha he actually has a base attack of of about um, I think three three point six k. That's that's his base. That's how much base attack he actually has. So he he definitely hits really really hard. Like this is a this is a nat five. You know this is a nat five dark attacker. You know what we're talking about. Even if his his courageous strike is, you know, only for high HP monsters. It doesn't do a lot of um, damage multiplication to these monsters, but I think he definitely does still hit very, very hard. So we're gonna try it on the on the um, sparkler. I'll put a shield up. Yeah, it's like doing 6k of like five hits, so it should be like about 30k. Um, or break this first. We'll take care of this uh, the sparkler. And then next turn, I will I will hit the sparkler. It should be doing more than 10k a hit. It should be doing like 12k a hit um, on crit. Oh man, it didn't crit. I do have like 10% non-crit on him, so that's might be a little bit unfortunate. But still, he was doing 5k um, on armor break as well. I wonder how much damage he would do on a non-crit. Um, on a non-crit normal attack. I wish I had better leash gems for him. I wish I could put 100% crit on him. Alright, I'm going to armor break this, uh, this B. And then we're going to turn into one times. So I'm going to use this AoE nuke. And this should be able to kill, uh, probably kill most of the wave. I'm not sure if he can kill the entire wave. Aw, oh, man, we didn't even see the damage, but that thing just, that thing melted. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna end these guys, and then just go into the boss stage. Hopefully he gets a full bargain. Alright, so, um, I'll actually do a, do a damage test on him with the boss. So this is actually his first hit without armor break. Um, he should definitely be doing quite a lot more than when he was hitting the other units. So he's doing like I think I think like five hits of nine k, um, which is about 45 k, um, and did did about five percent of the golem's HP without armor break. Now we're gonna we're gonna go with armor break next turn. Um, I actually should have just tried to armor break the boss just in case um, you know he resists my Thor's armor break next turn, but it's fine. Oh man, he put attack down on me. That is unfortunate. I will I will try to still armor break the boss. Um, and then we'll, we'll kill this side unit. Aw, oh, he didn't crit. Sad. Why do you have to go and put put that attack down on me? Alright, let's see if I can uh, if I can arm break the boss this turn. Okay, he resisted again, but it's perfectly fine. We'll just uh, we'll just nuke the side unit. We'll just uh, we'll just nuke him hard. All 
Alright, let's put up the shield. And then uh, see if we can armor break the boss. Okay, nice. Finally. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with since I have my bar full and I know he's gonna be armor broken for two turns and I have a shield up, meaning that he probably can't put attack down on me. I'm going to hit him once with my first skill to see how much damage it does, and then next turn I'm going to hit him while he's armor broken with my uh, with my second skill. Yeah, that was uh that is like 17. That was like 17 17k a hit. It was like five hits of 17k, which is like. Which is like, uh, like 85, yes, 85k. My math was bad. All right, my don't. I I may be Asian, but I, I I have horrible horrible math skills. Oh shit, he's gonna silence me. Actually, I don't think he can break this shield. All right, since he's still armor broken, we're gonna we're gonna hit him with it with my uh. With his uh, his five star skill, we'll see how much damage it does to the golem. It, it, um, his HP is currently over here. Okay, I can't even count how many hits that was. I think it was like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ish. I think it was like seven hits or so of like thirteen k. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely a lot of uh, a lot of damage. This is definitely way stronger than his evil 2 form. Alright, he's armor broken again. You can kind of see how much damage he does just with his normal skill while this boss is armor broken. Oh man, he didn't crit, but it still did, did a significant amount of damage. Man, that 10% non-crit, what the fuck? Right, that was, that's definitely tilting. I don't think he can break this. Oh, he broke it. But it's fine, I think he's dead. Maybe, I'm not sure. I don't think this can kill him. We'll test it out. Ah, uh, not enough damage. It did about this much to his HP bar. I mean, I, I think it's not bad, but I don't think it's as good as you, as uh, as using sap against him. I think my Indra will have a full bar. We'll armor break him, use my AoE, and uh, we'll finish him off. We'll let him do the honors, as always. Let the spotlight monster do, do the honors. Alright. Let's uh let's, let's end them. Turn this to one time so we can see how many hits. It's doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven hits. Seven hits of 13k. So that's like That's like 91k, yes. It's like 91k nuke. It's definitely a lot of damage. Alright, my nine minute run, maybe it's gonna give me something good. Nope. Well, I don't think he has too many uses in PvP, but I mean, you could set him up as as a as a defense to uh, to make people salty. So, I mean, that kind of works. But I, I didn't even climb in PvP. I mean, we can we can try him out in PvP. I mean, it is one of my monsters, so we can definitely do whatever we, we want with him. Unfortunately, I don't have too much resist on him. So I mean, I guess I have to something do something like uh, like this maybe. Yeah, we'll we'll use him in PVP just because I can. All right, just because, just because this this is a spotlight video and we can. I mean, it's actually one of my monsters, so we can test them everywhere. Or I can I can spotlight him and show him off everywhere. All right, what's the plan? We kill this Gatito. Oh yeah, there we go. Melted that motherfucker. Dang it! 
Hunter lived. Alright, we'll finish him off. See if I can uh, one-shot this evil 2 Venus. I don't think I can, she's like triple HP, but then again, I'm a courageous striker, you know, I'm a dark courageous striker, so maybe, maybe I'll work against her, like, you know, all her, all her HP stacking. Okay, no, never mind, she's still, she's still tanky as hell. Hey, maybe, maybe I'll do a lot of damage against this Leo, you know, Leos usually stack a lot of HP. Okay, that, that, that didn't work. I mean, maybe if I armor broken him, I would have done a lot of damage. Yeah, even the even my C star does more damage. This is, this is sad. Maybe if I hit a Fire Odin, I can do a shit ton of damage. Sorry, I just need to find a full tank team, and then I'll throw them in, and I'll fuck them good. Well, this guy's got all a lot of evil three. Uh, yeah, fives. We can try it out. I don't think they have a lot of HP though. The Arthur and the Valks, their base HP is all under 30k, so definitely won't won't do too much. Um, but we can definitely kill this Nike first. All right, I, I stunned her, so I, I guess I don't have to kill her this turn. Um, I'll put a bit of damage on her, and then I'll try to I'll try to stun the Water Curse. Nope. Alright, this should definitely kill her. If I do crit. Oh man, didn't crit. Sad. Wow, she didn't crit either. I'll finish her off with a Cupid and see who, who comes out. And maybe stun that. Nice. Alright, let's uh let's throw all my damage on. I think I think this Arthur is gonna get his bar full or bar out no matter what. So, I guess we'll just put some damage on the C star. See if I can stun her. Nope. Sad, sad life. Ah, oh, they put attack down on both my uh, both my units, but I guess it's fine. There we go, get Get stun locked. Oh wait, I should have hit the purse first with this courageous strike. I would have killed her way faster. That should have been the strategy. I should have used my dark Indra to kill his water purse first. But I just kinda ignore her because she was only evil two. But if she was an evil three water purse, I could definitely like that could definitely be a strategy. You can you maybe you can use him in PvP. You guys think that that might be possible? Use them in PvP. All right, that's that's pretty much it. Um, if you want to see his stats, just like the way I gemmed him, um, you know, actually in the the actual thing, I might like I might actually switch out his gems. I don't think the leech set's kind of really worth it. He has no resist, which is really really bad. Um, but I think I can definitely maybe put him on like a hundred percent crit, you know. Um, Maybe I can get a. I think I might be able to get a. Uh, actually, no. I don't have. I. I, I don't have that many uh, good crit. Um, crit conviction gems. I was thinking of putting on on a hundred percent crit conviction set. That actually could be really good as well. This way he has high resist, and um, you know I. I really don't like the ten percent non crit. Or I could actually use him with a crit lead, like maybe with the like the wood pino. Who I actually have a perfect leader skill with, so if I put this in, like I'll have like a 20% crit, and then this basically gives me 83%, which will give me like a perfect. We'll, we'll put him at 100 but and 100 and uh, 3% crit, which will get, actually give him 100% crit. So I can maybe actually pair him up with with the wood pinolo to uh, to get 100% crit on him, and then use like two two healers or something like that. That that actually might work as well. But anyways, that is that is pretty much it. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this monster spotlight. I've been waiting a long long time to do this, and 
yeah, he definitely he def he was worth every every gleam, worth every Indra that I fed into him. I'm really glad I was able to make him evil three without sacrificing my other two water Indras, because um, they these these guys are actually very valuable as well. So um, that's that's definitely really really nice. But anyways, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And peace out.